So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Here ended the lesson. Depression and the world wars 
that created the kind of disruption we are experiencing now. In the United States alone, 140,000 people have died. Numerous others have battled the virus and survived, blessedly including members of our parish. Families have been separated, with elders often secluded in nursing facilities with no visitors allowed. Generations are separated by distance and an inability to travel for fear of contagion. At best, many visit us at a distance, and even then with masks. No votes are allowed. Some decide to take the chance and expend their bubbles. The economic losses are stunning. Workers are out of jobs as businesses have closed. Families face a loss of housing and real hunger as food is not within their meager budgets. Children have lost ground in their education and development when virtual learning was the only possibility. So many of life's joyous events, weddings, graduations, birthday celebrations, have had to be canceled or postponed or held virtually in deference to the virus. And yet we who are people of faith wait with hope for that which we do not see. I have a fantasy of millions of angels flying down from heaven to every corner of the earth, their wings filled with millions of vials of vaccine to share with all the peoples of the earth and to vanquish the virus. It probably won't happen that way. But I also know God always answers our prayers, even if it's not exactly what we're asking for. I remember the quote from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Think of the tremendous acts of kindness we have seen, including those from strangers. By angels known and unknown, the selflessness of our medical community and first responders, neighbors looking out for their elderly neighbors and getting their groceries and other needs, Restaurants providing food for those in need, as well as bringing care packages to hospitals and first responders. Teachers who've gone to visit and celebrate their students with curbside visits to let them know that they're not alone. Communities organizing drive-by birthdays and graduation celebration to recognize kids' milestones. Grocery shoppers paying the bill of another shopper that they have never met before. These are kindnesses that show the goodness in us. These give me hope, for it won't be just surviving the pandemic that matters, but how we treat one another. These kindnesses are sent from God to comfort us as we wait. We thank God for these angels, as well as for the scientists who tirelessly are working to find a vaccine to save us. As we read in Isaiah today, the Lord tells us not to be afraid, that he is our rock. We know that God will never leave us alone, but will lift us up with all of our burdens. And so we turn to him with hope. We offer our prayers, not just for ourselves, but for the whole world. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, be thou our guide while troubles last, and our eternal home. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee do we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. 
Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, who makest us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of thy Son, our Lord, grant us this day such blessings through our worship of thee, that the days to come may be spent in thy favor. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of comfort, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee to guide and govern us. We humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget thee, but may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who hast made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and did send thy blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after thee and find thee. Bring the nations into thy fold, pour out thy spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of thy kingdom. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to thy never-failing care and love. For this life and the life to come, knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Amen.
together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thy inestimable love and redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>